victory. But they're all correct. And the only way that you actually get an accurate description of this book is by having all of these contradictory approaches and views of it. That's how you know, one, uh, two of my sons are, are, are engineers. So he's showing me on, on the computer this 3D, how, how when, when they're constructing something, there's this program that they use. It's incredible. It's this 3D, and they could see it from every angle. Oh, that's, that looks good over here. Oh, that's going to be a problem over there. I need to adjust this, right? So we just did a 3D description of this book, and only then by all of these contradictory descriptions were we able to discern, in fact, what this is. So too, when it comes to these contradictory, seemingly contradictory approaches, Eilu ve'eilu divrei elokim chayim, this and that are the words of the living God. They're all true. They're different glimpses. And only from those different glimpses, which seem to be contradictory, do we actually get a full understanding of what it actually is. So there was no repercussion. And there was a repercussion. Meaning, there was a repercussion. Moshe was supposed to be the Kohen, and Moshe was demoted. And Aaron became the Kohen. There was a repercussion. There was no repercussion. Moshe, from his perspective, with the Ahava, with the love and the connection and the respect that he had for his brother Aaron. So Aaron getting it and he not getting it wasn't a demotion, wasn't a repercussion. Beautiful. My brother has it. Who could ask for more? That's wonderful. And what follows afterwards? Hashem says to him, so from Moshe's point of view, there's no repercussion. Now keep in mind, Moshe, what, what, what page are we, 309 you said? Moshe didn't want to usurp the position of Aaron. What does Hashem say about Aaron? You don't have to worry. Aaron, your brother, the Levite, is coming. So that should have been a, a, a slap to Moshe. No problem. Aaron? Aaron be the Kohen? All good. Gamine who'd say, look, he's coming out to greet you. Page 310, 311, Varacha, he will see you. Visamach Bilibo. And where, where will Aaron be when he realizes that he's no longer the leader of the children of Israel? He's no longer the God representative, but instead his brother Moshe has usurped his role. Where is he going to be? The Samach Bilibo. It's not going to be this external. Oh, I'm so happy for you. As it's eating me up inside, I can't believe you got the promotion and I didn't. <laughs> it's going to be the Samach Bilibo. It's going to be this genuine happiness on behalf of Moshe. One of the shortest chapters in Tehillim is Hine Matov Umanaim Shevet. Achim Gam Yachad. How beautiful and pleasant it is when Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, when the brothers sit together and we say, like the anointing oil that went down onto the beard, onto the beard of Aharon. And we, 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 we Aaron being anointed as the Kohen Gadol. We mentioned beard twice. Why? Because it was as if it went down onto the beard of Moshe and onto the beard of Aaron. So this is the Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, the camaraderie, the brotherly love that existed here. Uh, Moshe is being coming a Kohen was given to Aaron. Beautiful. I love it. Aaron's high position being given to Moshe as the spokesperson would go to Paro. Beautiful. I'll play the secondary role. I'll play second fiddle to Moshe. Moshe says, Beit HaMikdash, I'll play second fiddle to Aaron. With that, I think we can gain another understanding 
in why Moshe's name was not mentioned in the Parsha of Aaron being anointed as the Kohen Gadol. What would we say, my friends? <clears throat> Why is Moshe's name not being mentioned over here? Okay, so on one level you could say Moshe did not want to take any limelight away from Aaron. Right? Right? This is our own. This is our, right? There's a beautiful teaching in the, in the, in the Talmud. But makam she'en ish, sham tehei ish. Right? In the place where there is no one to step forward, step forward. But makam she'yeish ish, when there's someone who's got it already. So don't feel that you need to, to muscle your way into the limelight. Right? No, no. There's someone that there's there is a niche, there's someone there who's who's, who's taking control of it. Okay. Step back. Okay. Step back. Allow that person to 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 shine. Right? Okay. So Moshe here, this is the parsha of Aaron, where Aaron is being given the position that had been destined for Moshe. Moshe says, you know what? Let me stay in the background. And you should command my Israel. And you should bring Aaron. Who's you? It's Moshe. But just you know, keep my name out of the, what do they call that? The bill? You know, when they have a, a show or a play? The playbill. Yeah. Right? Keep my name out of the playbill. Right? Out of the credits. Right? I don't need any credits. Just keep me, keep me out of it. Right? And when, when I'm Yisrael, has this sense of unity, of achdut, of achva, of, of camaraderie, of, of unity, of, jo- of being joyous for one another, that is when we are at our strength. And when we get all, all split up, that is where we, um, divided we fall. That is where we run into problems. Purim was the time where things turned around and we became tremendously unified. That's why all the mitzvot of Purim are all mitzvot that lead towards this unity. Right? We have, well, we, the reading of the Megillah, we have a su'uda together. We all have a beautiful festive meal together. Uh, Beth Jacob, we join in with Cafe Europa, which is a group of the Holocaust survivors here in Orange County. We host them for our Purim Suda. So if you have not yet signed up, would like to join us, please let the office know and sign up to join us for that Purim Su'ud that we have. That will be on Tuesday afternoon. Mishloach Manot is sending food gifts to people. And it's good to send to many people. It's also good to send if there's someone that you might have had a little bit of an uh, uh, altercation along the way. So let's send, right? Now, now, now it gets problem. Oh, or seen had a problem with me? That's why he sent me. Right? You have to be careful, right? But, um, <laughs> but um, you want to you want to increase the achva and the manatanot of your name is the money that's distributed to the poor. <coughs> Once again, that's in order to build build the unity amongst us, and we should have a a joyous Purim for Am Yisrael all around, and we should have this unity. And we should go from chayel lechayel, from strength to strength. Next Tuesday morning is Purim, so we, we, we're not going to have have the class that Tuesday morning. It was a bit of a of a busy day. Yeah. Okay, my friends. Thank you. Thank you.